Welcome to Technical Studies. Being familiar with different country codes, standards, will be a big advantage for piping technicals. In this video, we will go through such a drawing. Before starting to study the drawing, compare the piping drawing and the 3D model. This will make you easy to understand the drawing. Let us start with the material list. Part number one. Pipe, nominal size is 250. If you want to convert this into inches, divide it with 25, you will get the nominal pipe size in inches. What is the nominal pipe size of this 250 NB pipe in inches? Divide 250 by 25. The answer is 10 inches. Let us try another example. What is the inch size of the 200 NB pipe? Divide 200 by 25. The answer is 8 inches. Part number 1 to 3. All these pipes are Schedule 40. Item number 4. 250 into 250, straight T. But welded. Schedule 40. The quantity is 1. Item number 5. 250 into 200, concentric reducer. But welded. Schedule 40. Quantity is 1. Item number 6. 250 into 150, straight T. But welded. Schedule 40. Quantity, 1. Item number 7. 250 NB, 90 degree, long radius elbow. But welded type. Schedule 40. Quantity, for numbers. Item number 8. 200 into 25, Socolet. Socket welded. Class, 3000 pound. Quantity, 1. Item number 9. Cap. But welded. Schedule 40. Quantity, 1. Item number 10. 250 NB weld neck flange. Class 300 pound. Raise face. Schedule 40. Quantity, 3. Item number 11. 150 NB weld neck flange. Class 300 pound. Raise face. Schedule 40. Quantity, 1. Item number 12. 250 NB, check valve. Swing type. Class 300 pound. Quantity, 1. Item number 13. 200 into 150, safety valve. Quantity, one number. Let us go to the drawing. This drawing is the continuation of this drawing. See the coordinates. N means north. E means east. And GL means ground level. GL means the top of the ground. GL and BOP are same here. BOP means bottom of the pipe. DN250 means the nominal diameter of the pipe is 250. We already know that this is equal to 10 inch NB. Slope 1 is to 200. Means the pipe is sloped 1 mm in every 200 mm. Consider a pipe with 1000 mm length means the pipe has a 5 mm slope. Compare these two levels. Write down the slope in the comment box. 
What is item number 12? The description says, it is a check valve. Check valve's got a flow direction mark on it. You can see the flow direction of this piping. Before installing the valve, make sure, the flow direction is as shown on the drawing. Here, the slope ratio changes from 1 is to 200 to 1 is to 100. Remember, it's very important to read the drawing carefully before and during the fabrication. Item number 6 is a reducing T. See what is item number 13. It is a safety relief valve. Being familiar with valve symbols will be a big advantage for you. See item number 4. Straight T. Item number 5 is, concentric reducer. Item number 8 is, socket weld branch. Item number 9 is, cap. Let's take a look at the piping's directions. Suppose, this is where the pipe begins. The pipe goes to the east. Turns down 90 degree. Goes to the north 90 degree. Turns 90 degree to the west. From the T, the pipe goes up. From here, the pipe turns 90 degree downwards. From the T, the branch goes to the west. The Sokolet branch connection is to the north direction. Hope you liked this video. Please subscribe and comment.